It is early, well, it's like 7, 7.40. I'm headed to the gym. I feel like my workout group that I normally go work out with has kind of like dissipated for the holidays. Everyone's been like traveling slash just not here or going at weird times for the last three months. And I desperately need that like accountability and community in my life. Um, so another friend of mine usually goes really early. She usually goes between like seven or eight. And uh, I asked her last night, I was like, hi, I'm joining you. Cause again, I know that I need that accountability. It is Vlogmas day six and it's chilly outside, but it looks like it's gonna be a pretty day. There's some clouds, but I see some blue sky out there. I've always wanted to be the person that like wakes up at 5 a.m., works out at six, is home at seven and ready for the day at eight. I've always wanted that for myself. And it's just never been a thing. It's never been a thing and I'm not saying it's never not gonna be a thing, but like why would I need to do that? And I, I realize a lot of that comes down to, you know, like your lifestyle and like that includes your jobs and my job happens to be a little more flexible. I've had friends that are actors do that kind of schedule and have that kind of lifestyle and I very much admired them and I always thought that was really structured and very disciplined of them and I want I want that. But I don't I don't think it's in the cards for me. I love an eight o'clock workout. I feel like it's the perfect time to work out. It's not too early, it's not too late. This is morning thoughts with Ashley. <laughs> okay, well, I'm here. I made it. Wish me luck. I officially got ready for the day, thank God. I was like in PJs for the longest time doing calls and editing and uploading and stuff like that, but I'm ready. I'm officially ready for the day. Okay, you guys are gonna laugh, but on day one of Vlogmas, I went to a benefit party and I just found the gift bag um, in my car. Completely forgot about it by mistake, obviously. Um, so we're gonna do a little benefit gift bag unboxing. We have a very adorable, very cozy looking beanie. Oh, love these. Oh wait, <laughs> this is what I wore to the party. I obviously stuffed that in there. That's a slip mask and um, forgot, <laughs> forgot I had that on. Okay, continuing on. The original professional primer is the first primer I ever used um, and I was obsessed with it and I I love it to this day. Like anytime I smell it, I'm always like, ah, oh, nostalgic. Some mascara. We have Benetent. They sent over hot chocolate in a little jar, so cute. The Pore Professional Super Setter Setting Spray, a must have. And of course, their iconic Hula Bronzer. Can't go wrong with that. I 
I decided to get rid of the tabletop that came with my ottoman um, just because since I do have a coffee table here it just feels very unnecessary and it is in the way when I put my feet up there so I feel like this just looks a little bit cleaner a little more put together I've been loving this blanket in this corner it is just ah oh, it's so nice you guys remember my mom got me this it's from West Elm it is my favorite blanket Chloe's favorite blanket Rosie's favorite blanket, Alicia's favorite blanket, everyone's favorite blanket. It is so nice, definitely recommend. Definitely an expensive purchase, but a great Christmas gift. Now here's the thing, guys. I obviously have my couch now, and this love sack, really, I don't have anywhere to put it. Um, I think I'm gonna put it in the garage for now. I know that feels like a waste, but uh, maybe in the future I'll have somewhere to put it, or I'll find someone who could use it, but it really is taking up just a bunch of room and just sitting there, so. I think I'm gonna move it. This might be hard to do on my own. In other news, guys, something very exciting came. <laughs> I bought this bowl when I first realized I was getting my place, and I got it a long, that was a long time ago. That must have been like end of August. Once I knew I was moving, I knew I was going to be getting that table. Um, because I'd had it in storage um, for this moment to finally move out. And when I looked up the table on West Elm, they had a bunch of different, you know how websites will have their product like decorated a certain way, um, displayed in a certain way. This was one of the options. It's this huge, huge bowl. She's heavy. Um, and they had it in the center and I just thought it was so pretty so I bought it. So now I have to figure out if I'm going to change what I have going on right now over there. I'm still obviously very happy with how this whole thing worked out. I'm loving the vibes, um, but I wasn't originally intending on having that much wood. Um, I wanted the white bowl to like break it up a little bit. Um, so let's play around here and see what we can come up with. I'm actually really happy with how this looks. It feels very full, obviously feels very Christmassy with the pine. I got this from Trader Joe's, it's real. Um, so I just put a little water in that vase that I got. If you guys remember, this is from H&M. I do like the like subtle hints of Christmas. Like it's like it's the green and the red, not the, the like normal red, it's a pomegranate, but like it's still a green and a red also. All of Atelier uses old pomegranates, so I use old pomegranates. I a thousand percent need to figure out now what I'm going to do with the counter, because now it feels just uneven. Part of me wants to go wood because of the counter, but that means I haven't even used this yet, so what do I do? Oh no. Actually, could go here. That feels good. It obviously needs some stuff in it, but let's see, let's see, let's see. Ugh, overwhelmed. Honestly, too many options. I might have to ask Alicia for her opinion, but either way, I need food. Creation has been fueling me lately. I've been spending way too much money there. But I got reward today, which is very exciting. I got a free syringe or shot. And because it's flu season, I got two immunity shots. But one of my favorite things from there is their Hail Vegan Chicken Caesar Wrap. Incredible. And then I am trying for the first time the spring roll salad. Yes, I got two things. I worked out really hard today, and your girl's hungry. So I'm probably gonna have the salad and like one of the wraps. That being said, I am going to sit my ass outside on my patio and enjoy lunch. We are on coffee number two for the day. I have been trying to not do energy drinks or pre-workout or stuff like that in the morning. I've been trying to work out first and then have a cup of coffee. Because my caffeine intake is just through the roof. I'm aware of that. Um, so I've been working on that, but that being said, that means whenever it's time for like the second coffee, I like desperately need it, I feel like. Um, but today I'm feeling good. Today I'm feeling good. I'm also very excited for today. I am finally getting my Christmas tree. Obviously this whole weekend being at my parents kind of threw off my, my plan <laughs> for decorating my place. Um, but if you saw a few vlogs ago, me and my sister went to Target 
and I did get some Christmas decor, so I thought I'd haul it for you guys really quick. First things first, a tree base. I mentioned in said vlog that I'm planning on getting a real tree this year. Since I don't have a fake tree uh, for my place yet, I thought it'd be fun to, to get a real one. Um, they smell so good. I'm very excited for it. Here is my living room, right? I was planning originally to put the Christmas tree here, but let's be honest, it's not a lot of room for a tree. I do have all this room over here, but what do I do with this? Do I move this bookshelf here just for now? so that I can put the tree over there? Or do I put the tree over here, move that here and move the mirror there? I don't know. But back to the Christmas decor haul. I got some white lights. I got the cutest gingerbread cookie ornaments. I think they're absolutely adorable. Um, and I'm really going for the same kind of vibe that we had at my sister's house. Neutral colors, whites, beige, browns, gold, silver, stuff like that. I did get a star and she does light up. I got an extension cord with a button. The button is a game-changing move, you have to get it. I got some gold pine cones. Um, they look like they're gonna make a mess, but worth it. In the Vlogmas day one, I mentioned one of my favorite ornaments and found a very similar one at Target, so I got it. Got this cute little bird, adorable. I got some jingle bells. They're white with uh, like a twine string, it's very cute. I have this exact ornament at Alicia's house. Um, so it just felt appropriate to get my own. I got this really cute, fuzzy felt tree. I also got these silver icicles. Um, my parents have always had ornaments like this. Um, so something about these are very nostalgic to me. And I just have to have them. This is random. I got these headbands. Like all the cool girls on Instagram have been bringing these back. And I swear I don't look good in headbands. I don't have the forehead for it. But everyone's making it look so cute. So I ended up buying some. I don't think headbands are an option for my shape of face. Let me know your thoughts though. I need some validation. I need to be told to do it or to not do it. For the house, I live for stuff like this. I think little things like this change everything in a home um, and just takes it from like not very Christmassy to very Christmassy. So I got two of these wooden ones and then I got three of these metal white trees. So it goes a little something like this. And then a few more ornaments and I swear I'm almost done. This is just, so cool. I got another felt uh, stuffed tree. I got a little mug that says, tis the season. I also got two cars. It is a tin van with a tree on top. And then I got a little car that has like silvery sparkly snow on it and a tree on top as well. Adorable. Then Alicia picked these out for me. We have similar ornaments like this on Alicia's tree. And I just love the like, texture it kind of brings. And then Alicia picked this one out for me. It's a bead. It looks like a bracelet almost. It's exactly a bracelet with a, it looks like foil covered tree, which is very fun. And that is everything <laughs> that I got for my tree. I'm very excited to get it. I'm getting it later today. My boyfriend's gonna come over, help me um, secure it onto the car.